Hey, what's up guys? Taylor here back for another video. Thank you guys for joining me yet again. If this is your first time visiting my channel, thanks for stopping by. Go ahead, subscribe, drop a like, maybe a comment. Let me know things you want to see in the future. And if you like this video, tell me why. And if you don't like it, let me know too so I can improve going forward. But anyways, guys, let's hop into the topic of discussion today. And this is a question that, you know, I get a lot as a Marine, as a recruiter, and just in general as someone, you know, being in the Marine Corps. And that is, you know, how hard is Marine Corps boot camp? And to be honest, man, the question is subjective because what's hard for me might not be hard for you. What's hard for you might not be hard for the next guy, et cetera, et cetera. But just as a general baseline and things that I've realized over, you know, the last year and a half being on recruiting and just throughout my, you know, my tour in the Marine Corps is that first, first of all, you know, Marines come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, and there's people you look at that are like, oh yeah, you could totally make it through boot camp, um, whatnot. Then you get other people who you're like, you know, maybe you're gonna have trouble in boot camp. You might not make it. And that those are people who are kind of prejudging others just based off their appearance. But the one thing I'm gonna say about boot camp that is probably the truest thing is that. Yes, boot camp is physical. It is a physical thing that is no, you know, that that's that's no lie, right? Go on YouTube, watch any boot camp video, look at anything involving Marine Corps boot camp, and it's physical, right? People are there running, they're all they're running everywhere, they're screaming. It's just constant chaos for 13 weeks. But what people fail to realize is that outside of the physical aspect, which yes, it is hard. Yes, you're gonna be tired, you're gonna be exhausted, you'll be sleep deprived, all those things. It is the mental game right here that people often overlook because you can be the strongest, the fastest, the biggest, baddest dude or girl, whatever, and not make it through boot camp because although physical fitness plays a huge role in accomplishing boot camp and being a Marine in general, the mental aspect and the mental toll it has on most people um, far outweighs that physical ability. And for example, I had a guy when I first started recruiting, he was actually the first guy ever enlisted. This guy was a stud. He was doing 20 plus pull-ups. He was running his IST, which is the initial strength test that pull leaves, which are those people who are waiting to go to boot camp, do. Um, he was running his IST runtime in like nine and a half minutes for a mile and a half, which was a phenomenal time. Like, the guy was fast. He was knocking out his 115 crunches in under two minutes. Like He was just a stud always challenging himself he was telling me i'm gonna run up this mountain this hill and just all these things and it was it was great he came from a family of marines his sisters were marines his like brother-in-law was a marine everyone he was surrounded by was a marine this guy had the full support system he had lost i think 80 or 90 pounds i mean this was like the model snapshot like this is that success story that people talk about i lost all this weight to join the marines i have a family background in the Marines, everyone's Marines this, it was going to the base, you know, down here in Miramar to go see how, what the Marine Corps was like, had connections like the whole nine, and you look at this guy, you're like, this guy's going to be like a future Sergeant Major just by the looks of him, you're like, this guy has everything in the world going for him, it's like, there's no way he can fail, so he went to boot camp, and I'm like, this guy's going to crush it, he's going to be the guy, this is, man, I was so excited for him to go and finally, you know, get his career started. You know, a few months later, I think it was about a month and a half. I think it was two months. Anyways, halfway through boot camp, maybe towards the tail end, get a phone call from the senior drill instructor, right? And that's a phone call you never want is when you answer your phone, you're like, hello? They're like, hi, can I talk to blah, blah, blah? Speaking. Hi, this is senior drill instructor, blah, 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 from Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. You're just like, fuck, why are you calling me? Come to find out, the guy had some mental issues. Long story short, um, the mental aspect just really took over him, and um, he ended up quitting and ended up not becoming a Marine, um, unfortunately. And then after that, you know, I think one of the worst parts is I haven't even talked to him since he left. He kind of fell off the map, disconnected from everybody, and he's, I don't know where he's at now. So if you're watching this, man, I hope you're doing well out there. But anyways, it just goes to show that no matter how big and bad and fast and strong or whatever you are, the mental game far outweighs that. So it is hard, right? Boot camp is hard. It is challenging. It is, it is meant that way. It is set up that way to challenge you and push you outside of your comfort zone. And it really does push you outside of your comfort zone. Ask any drill instructor that's currently serving that served before. And it's challenging. I know it's hard. It is difficult. But 
it's not impossible because if it was impossible i wouldn't be sitting here making this video there wouldn't be hundreds of thousands of marines out there that have already walked that path and became united states marines but there's one thing you need to do prior to going to boot camp and that's get your mental state right get your mind right okay and what i mean is understand that you are about to go through something that you've never experienced before in your life and yes everyone has a different upbringing some people come from you know the best upbringings uh, upbringings with money and they're given everything they have that very they're very fortunate and there's other people who are you know who are brought up with nothing i mean they have nothing they come from nothing so you have like polar opposites on the spectrum but when you both get to boot camp you are equal none of that matters nothing matters you're just there to accomplish one thing and that is becoming a united states marine so getting your mind right is important because you've never experienced this before you may have experienced some you know uh, unfortunate things in your life but this is going to be something completely different now i'll caveat and i'll say i've had guys who've gone to boot camp they're like yeah man it wasn't that bad it was kind of easy i enjoyed it it was fun whatever and i'm like okay damn there's other guys who went there like this is the hardest thing i ever did in my life i barely made it through etc etc but they're both marines now so everyone's experience is gonna vary everyone's experience is gonna be different there are people who go there and think it's a joke and you know and sometimes they don't make it far sometimes they make it all the way through it really just depends on that person but if you understand what you're getting into and that it's temporary boot camp will not last forever it is only 13 weeks and i know i say only 13 weeks like it's a couple of days it is long right it's the longest boot camp in the entire military but at the same time it's not impossible it will eventually end you're going to eat three times a day you'll eat breakfast lunch and dinner okay so although there's no watches in boot camp there's no clocks in boot camp you're not going to know what time it is you're just going to go from sunrise to sunset you know you'll be up before the sun rises i almost said you'll wake up to the sunrise and go to bed to the sunset but that's not true you'll wake up before the sunrise at zero four and you'll go to bed you know depending on the time of year after the sun sets um but you go meal to meal after breakfast okay i'm gonna keep training and doing whatever until i get to lunch okay i've had my lunch i'm eating right now my box chow the chow hall whatever the case is okay let me get through some training, some classes, whatever. Okay, now I'm at dinner chow. Okay, cool. Or evening chow. I'm eating my evening chow. I know that in a few hours, I'm going to be in the rack, going to bed. Like you hit the rack, out. Like you're just so exhausted. And you wake up the next day, rinse and repeat. And you get into a routine. Okay, the first two weeks are going to be the hardest because that's the adjustment phase. You're going from right now, I'm sitting in my car. I'm relaxing. I just had this wonderful chick-fil-a for lunch it was delicious and i'm just kind of chilling right now you go from this to absolute chaos to where people are telling you what to do they're yelling they're screaming you're running you're like what the hell i was just hanging out life was simple and easy and now i'm just completely flipped the reset or 180 my whole life to something new but after those first two weeks you get adjusted to it and it just becomes the norm you get into your routine okay i wake up I get ready for the day, I shave, I blah, 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 I do this, I do that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So after a few weeks, the routine becomes normal and you just kind of go through the flow. Staying out of trouble, of course, because when you try to be that troublemaker, that smart ass, whatever, you're going to make your time in boot camp a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Trust me, don't be that guy or girl, okay? So yes it's difficult but it's not impossible you're gonna be okay and then i know this because i made it myself dude when i went to boot camp i was the same height i was six foot four and i was like 170 pounds i was this tall skinny guy okay didn't work out no athleticism to me i was just that tall skinny guy and i was i was like damn this is it's gonna be challenging it's gonna be impossible but after i got through that adjustment phase i met some friends in boot camp my rack mate this guy hernandez i cannot remember his first name but he was a small little hispanic guy um he was a firecracker man he was always getting in trouble and he was always getting me in trouble but we had this we had this bond and with other guys there too that just made it so much easier because i'm like i'm no longer going through this alone i'm going through this with my friends now that i've just met that came from all walks of life all across the country and sometimes the world depending on where they where they were born and i'm like now we're all going through this together and it's gonna be okay we're gonna be fine we're gonna make this and we did right and years later i'm here to make this video and tell you guys that it's gonna be okay no matter how hard you think it is or whatever you're gonna be fine as long as you keep pushing through as long as you never quit or give up because 
Your drone sir is going to tell you they will never quit or give up on you. So never quit or give up on yourself or them because their job is to create Marines. They make Marines. I'm a recruiter. I find, you know, civilians and enlist them into the Marine Corps, right? I'm that gateway to boot camp. But boot camp is that gateway into the Marine Corps officially by earning that Eagle of an Anchor and becoming a Marine. So they make Marines. We just give them the Marines or the pulleys to make into Marines. They're never going to quit on you. So don't quit on them. And as much as you want to sometimes, always remember why you started. Why did you start this journey? Why did you want to become a Marine? Why, why, why? Answer those questions. It's going to help get you through even those toughest times in boot camp. And then at the end of the day, you'll look back and you're going to reflect at some point and be like, damn, you know what? That was easy. Because I ask guys, I'll write letters in boot camp. How was it? It's ch it's challenging. It's tough. It's this, it's that. And then afterwards, I'm like, how was it? Oh, man, it ain't shit. Oh, really? It ain't shit? Because this letter says something different. But, you know, the point is you made it and that's what's important. So anyways, guys, um, it is difficult, but you're going to be okay. And then a little quick tip for you. When I enlisted years ago, boot camp was like it's a big question mark like there was no social media the internet was kind of brand new like you couldn't find now then what you can find now i could go on youtube or you could go on youtube better yet look up day by day boot camp and literally see every single day and it's no longer a surprise but it still is once you get there because although you know what's gonna happen when you get caught off guard it's still a surprise but anyways um, I'll put a link in the description below of an actual day-by-day -day chart that shows you day one through, I think, training day 50-something toward new graduate of what you do every single day. So you can actually know what you'll be doing at boot camp all day, every day. And it doesn't break down by the hour, but it tells you the main event of that day. So you know going into it, week one is this, two, three, four, all the way till you graduate. So I'll put that in the description below so you guys can check it out. And if you're also curious, Google or you know YouTube, Marine Corps boot camp, drill instructors, blah, 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 blah. And you're going to get a quick insight of what to expect going forward. But the last thing I'll leave you with, guys, is like I said earlier, just don't quit and know you're going to be okay. And it's not that bad. Believe me, it's not that bad. You're going to be just fine. And once you watch this video and you go to boot camp, you come back, leave me another comment. Let me know just how fun or not fun it was or how easy or you know challenging it was because i'm curious it's been a long time since i've been to boot camp but i can only assume um you know how much better it is now than it was then so anyways guys thank you so much for checking out another video and stay with me up to this point i know it's a little lengthy but i'm trying to make these videos a little bit shorter but it's just fun to talk to you guys and interact and just kind of put out a lot of information uh for you guys at the same time but as always make sure you guys like share comment and subscribe because the youtube algorithm loves that and it helps put these videos out to more people so others just like yourself can watch us and benefit fit from it guys so again thank you so much and until next time